I truly believe that writing facilitates thinking, that it's not just you have an idea and then you sit down and you start writing that idea out and you know you draft a few things and you know eventually it comes, it takes shape. I, t I tell my students that all the time if you expect to have your idea before you start writing, you're going to be in trouble. Um, and I, so I, I sort of base my whole course on the notion of pre-writing, which is this idea that, you know, you have to actively engage the text with, you know, by putting something on the page, um, and because that, because that, that act actually will alter your thinking. And, and so one of the things I'll do to honor that or to recognize that is I have what I call ICAs, which are in-class assignments. That's all that means. Um, but they actually bring, they have reading journals, and they, at the beginning of every class, there's a, some kind of prompt. Sometimes it's more open-ended than not. Um, that's related to the day's reading material. And I have them write for 15 minutes, sometimes, you know, fewer minutes, depending on the prompt. Um, and the you know a lot of times what what students will say is those those one of those writing sessions inspired what they ended up writing their final paper on and so um, in a way all of my classes are writing oriented because I do that in all of them even if it's not a, a you know a writing about literature class I actually incorporate writing on a day to day basis so that students can sort of engage the text that way as well. Um, so that's one of the most beneficial things that I've, I've like sort of discovered as a teacher is, you know, just sort of standing by that idea that writing, writing shapes thinking and not thinking shapes writing. Um, and it works for me too as a writer. So it's, it's a win-win.